All right, so Jonathan and I are in a hotel in Tennessee because we just did a, an appearance together on a show, and uh, we are very close to season two, officially Ooh. officially becoming a multi-season show. Officially, how does it feel to have a multi-season show officially? We've been saying <laughs> I know. for the last three years, but when now we, it's actually going to be. When we said we're multi. the first ever multi-season show about the life of Christ while we were still in season one. We might have, we might have jumped through ahead a little bit. <laughs> Maybe we're a little optimistic. <laughs> Hedged our bets. <laughs> yes, but it's uh, proven to be true. Yes. And um, being with you, uh, just as we're approaching this season, uh, just coming off of having shot it, which was crazy, mm. um, it, uh, I feel very um, I don't know, warm, reminiscent, because it just it does take me back to when we first did this. Mm. Very, uh, how many years ago has it been now? Uh, three. No no, 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 I'm no, no, I'm talking about. Oh, you mean all uh, the way back? Uh, oh, so this this March, it's seven years. Yeah. So seven years ago... We made it through seven years. <laughs> We're still friends. <laughs> How do we... Uh, Judy's out. <laughs> yeah. ah. Holding on. <laughs> Barely holding on by a thread. <laughs> yes. um, so seven years is when we did a short film called The Two Thieves, where uh, you first played Jesus for me, at least. You'd done it for that, for that play. Uh, that you've done, but for 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 this th this Jesus, this portrayal of Jesus, actually started seven years ago, and it was just for my church, and then we did it again for my church, and and then we waited a year, and yeah, then we did and it then, one more and then time. We did it, yeah, and I feel like this what we're doing now really does feel like an extension of that. Like mm -hmm. I remember early on. The first thing we did was was the, was what's going to ultimately happen in season six, which is the crucifixion. Right. We we jumped right into the deep end of the pool, and we so did. the first frame of film that I ever filmed of you as Jesus was you on the cross, in tremendous distress, mm -hmm. uh, literally because we were shooting in a rock quarry in the freezing cold in Chicago. Yeah. But you were in character. I mean, it was a, a deeply intense moment. Um, and then after, it wasn't until the the following years that we did things that were more like what the show is, which mm -hmm. is uh, we actually That's filmed an, uh, yeah, an early version of you with Nicodemus um, and where we first started to explore the humanity and the notion that Jesus had a sense of humor, that he was, that he teased. We had this moment where kind of you kind of tease Nicodemus. Um, and it's where I, th I, so I feel like this is an extension of that. It really is just on a grander scale. But what does it feel like now what's happened? I mean, what's happened with the show that we're now, going into season two. Uh, it's in every country in the world. It's millions of people. Um, I just got a note from my cousin. There is a group of people um, furiously translating this into over a dozen languages. They call themselves like Team Germany, Team Albania, oh, wow. like just volunteers who are translating it because they want to have it ready for... for uh, for the first episode. Wow. And it wrecked me when I saw these little pictures of people like on their computers trying to <laughs> trying to translate it. It's just extraordinary. And think so back. are they translating season one? Episode one. Episode yeah. one of season yeah. two. Of season two. Whoa. Already just trying to have it ready as fast as possible. That's wild. So anyway, I just I'm curious what you think. Like do you ever have these moments of like, man, think of where we started and now where where we are now. Yeah, I look at some of the photos like from the first four episodes and just knowing that we we didn't have anything other than at least four episodes and being like well let's see where god takes it let's see how he yeah. uses this to affect the world and and then now like that story that i just told on that show we were just on actually happened just days ago like i was on at a coffee shop yeah we're in and when the when the person realized who you were they started crying she started crying yeah. tears like yeah. she's like you don't know how this yeah. This show has ministered to me last year in a really difficult year of my life, and and like she was, I mean, you you just don't expect that. You don't expect that when we were doing this, like that's going to happen at a coffee shop and somebody knows your first name in Los Angeles. Name. In Los Angeles, it's not. I'm like, there's right. no, no one's going to know me here. Yeah. Like no, and, in Provo, and, Utah, that was, a, <laughs> that was a daily experience. Yeah. Um, but so it's yeah. it, it's it's extraordinary, man. But remember, you and I were just at the. We, we had a. We shot a few things in our studio at our church. Yeah. Or we shot in a rock quarry in uh, in the suburbs of Chicago. Yeah. And uh, and now this and is I got this, we got to watch it with an audience, and it was a sort of a. Yeah. It was like a field testing, this kind of approach, and it was like 
watching people react to that, it was yeah. extraordinary because we hadn't seen that before. And getting laughs with a live audience was something that we hadn't anticipated. Yeah, I remember the first Jesus joke, and I don't want to say what it was because I want to use it in one of the episodes, <laughs> but it's Jesus is sitting around the campfire with disciples, and the two of them are having an arm wrestling match, two disciples, and you're rooting for the... Like, it's, it's told, these guys are acting like normal human beings, and you made this... Uh, joke, and I remember when I when I wrote it, and I even told my wife, she was like, "I don't know if that's going to fly," and we were weren't sure if people would find it uh, disrespectful. And I'll never forget when we were watching it at my church. There was literally thousands of people in the room, and when you told the joke, there was this immense laughter. First of all, but it was it felt it was a laughter of almost of joy and relief, yeah. like. Oh, and people coming up to us afterwards, thank yeah. you for showing Jesus this way. Oh my goodness, this is a Jesus that I know. Yeah. And that was when we, I, I really knew we were onto something, but I still had no concept of the show. Yeah. But yeah. that's what people talk about now when they talk about the, 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 the humor from episode four, like Jesus saying some things even I cannot do, episode mm -hmm. five actually about, mm -hmm. about Andrew. And people say it like, not, not thank you for making me laugh, yeah. but it's like, thank you for revealing Jesus to me. I mean, it's, 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 that's, it, that's what's kind of been bizarre Making about him it. humanly relatable on, on, on a level. Making him relatable on I mean, his hum human level, yeah. you know? And, and how that actually causes people to find him even more divine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't contradict it. So uh, what, are, what are your thoughts just as we approach season two now? Um, you, haven't seen, you haven't seen the episodes, but how do you feel about the work we did? I've seen, obviously, episodes one through four are what we call locked, which means that the picture is done. Episode one is completely done now. Uh, uh, the music and everything is done for two and three, but we've still got some work to do on it with color. But uh, how do you feel about what you've done? Uh, you know, it's it's always, for me, it's always, until I see it, I, I don't think I'll be completely satisfied. <laughs> I think I'm just going to be like, oh man, I should have done what, what if I had done this instead? Like, I don't know if that's going to work, you know, and it's me in my head for a little bit. Um, I think initially I feel like as we've gone through each scene, as we were filming each scene, I feel like, okay, okay, I think this will work. I'm, I'm, I'm never quite sure of myself until I actually see it put together. Yeah, but you and I have, a, have developed a trust. Yeah. And, and I, I, exactly. I, I don't say this with any arrogance, but you've told me, that you have a trust in me to know that even if you're slightly unsure, yeah. that you know I'm not going to let it, we're not going to move on until it's right. great. And the same thing is, is in reverse when you have a, a note, when you want to tweak something mm. um, or something doesn't quite feel right. Occasionally I might push back because I've got an intention that maybe you haven't f fully gotten yet or mm -hmm. whatever it is. But I don't know the whole story yeah, yeah, right, arc of this right, thing. Right. But, but for the most part, like we've, we've developed a trust in each other that, uh, I, th I feel like we're on the same, like it's not a marriage, but yeah. it's like, I feel like there's like a God, ha we, we, we both know that God is telling this story and mm -hmm. we're just trying to find it yeah. as opposed to In create it. Yeah. yeah. And so Michelangelo talked about when he sculpted David, you know, that it, it, he didn't, he didn't sculpt David. He found him, he found you know, him in, in the marble. In, in the marble. Yeah. And I do feel like, or oh, I'm not Michelangelo and, and uh, neither are David. <laughs> but I do feel like that's what we're doing. I feel yeah. like we're, there, there's this greatness, and there's this thing that God wants said, yeah. and we're we're working to find it, and uh, and when one of us finds it first, like I think this scene needs to accomplish this, uh, it's very very rare that we're like the other one is disagreeing, yeah, because because I feel like there is an objective correct answer ninety five percent of the time with these scenes, yeah, yeah, so. I agree. And I think the proof is in how people react to it. So, that's um, that's the David. That's the finished piece. Is, is people's reactions and how it's affecting people uh, on a personal and a spiritual level is like, ah, okay, there it is. And kind of getting that sense as we're fi f figuring each scene out and completing each scene. It's like, I think this is. I think this is the arm. That's the arm right yeah. there. Yeah. And here's the bicep, and there's the shoulder. Okay, I think that's. It's starting to take shape. And then once you cut it together, and then and then see what it is then, and everything's put together. It's like, yeah, we saw it there the whole time. Yeah. So uh, before we go, what's what's one scene that you're really looking forward to seeing yourself, but you're also really looking forward to the audience seeing it um, without giving a significant spoiler? I, You know, I think um, I'm actually looking forward to the audience reacting to episode one. Well, I, yeah. Yeah. 
uh, and then and then th- I think three. Oh yeah. yeah, three something. And I we just we just finished working on it uh, last week in terms of the 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 audio and the music. Yeah. And people in the in the crew or in the post production crew, the editor. He said this. This knocked knocked him out. But people were coming into the room and just saying, "I want to. I want this. Is this episode is re- really insane? Oh yeah, they were freaking out. And the and really? the, the ending of the episode. Believe me, you're going to want to see the end of episode three. Um, and it was just like, even though we were working on it on a technical level, there were tears in people's eyes. Awesome. You know, it was just really cool. Um, yeah, episode one, the beginning of episode one, uh, is something that trust me. And you would confirm this that people don't, will not want to miss the beginning of episode one. Do not miss it. There's a scene with you and uh, Liz, Mary Magdalene, in episode six, in the uh, when, when, with you and, Mar- and 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 Mary and Mary mother. Yes. Um, that we won't give anything away, but I felt like that was really powerful too. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm, I'm looking forward to that very intimate scene, um, just yeah. the three of you. But yeah, I feel like that's gonna rock a few people but I love you man love we've you we've been doing this for a while together now and uh, we got a lot more to come but sometimes it's important to just take a moment and, and actually do it with you yeah. the the, uh, the viewer um, because you're such a part of this we, we literally don't do this without you um, and and so I'm, I'm, I'm feeling I'm just feeling very grateful knowing that we're in season two because of you and that you allow us the opportunity to kind of attempt to tap into something God once said and I hope we're continuing to do it Amen. Uh, in an honorable way. Love you, buddy. You too, bro. Happy Easter, everybody. Happy Easter.